They said an Indian couldn't be a scientist. So he showed them the heartbeat of a plant. Jagadish Chandra Bose wasn't born into privilege. He was born into resistance. In British-ruled India, he was denied lab access, proper equipment, and even basic funding. They told him science belonged to the West, that he could assist, but never lead. He disagreed, quietly. He built his own instruments from scraps, conducted experiments on his own time, unpaid. And then he proved something no one believed possible, that plants could feel. He created the Cresco graph, a delicate machine that could measure the pulse of a plant, its response to pain, music, and even emotion. To him, life was not a hierarchy, it was a continuum. But Bose didn't stop at botany. Long before Marconi, he demonstrated the wireless transmission of radio waves in 1895. But he refused to patent it because he believed science was not property, it was a gift to humanity. He died without wealth, without titles. But today he stands as the father of modern radio science in India, a pioneer of plant neurobiology and a soul who refused to weaponize knowledge because Bose didn't want to own the truth. He only wanted us to listen to it. This is Chronicles of Spirit. Follow for more stories of unclaimed genius, quiet revolutions, and the souls who prove that life everywhere has meaning.